All right, you guys, I'm in New York right now, and uh, every time Dad leaves the house, changes to the brackets happen. It happens every single year in all the Battle of the Barracks since Battle of the Barracks won, right? How do you think we came up with the idea of Legion of Doom? It's because someone dropped out. Someone dropped out either from injury or their schedule, or they just didn't feel like it. Sometimes there's a lot of pressure that goes into these games. They all know that hundreds of thousands of you are going to be watching for every toe drag and every I don't know man to destroy them in the comments and on social media later. Well, what happened is this became so popular that sometimes if you play it in like a quarter motion, you'll see as someone bends down to do a nolly flip, their legs will shake. So people get nervous and people drop out. It happens all the time. Battle of Barracks 12 is no exception. There's all kinds of reasons and we don't take offense to anyone dropping out at all. We kind of throw their names out there, hoping that they'll participate. But if they don't, no harm, no foul. It doesn't hurt our feelings and hopefully doesn't hurt theirs. So if you had four people drop out in a regular 32-man battle, think of how many people are going to drop out in a 64-man battle. You're talking eight, maybe even ten. But every year we've had to make changes, which always, always comes up. The floodgates open on complaints of, like, you my bracket up since you change it and i'm really sorry this year that all your brackets are f***ed up because there are changes to these battles but i didn't invent covid okay i didn't even invent the delta variant so please just go easy on me okay here are the changes to the bracket we have two europeans in the influencer bracket jamie griffin and johnny geiger they both live in europe we're gonna try to get them both out here but if we can't, we're going to fly out there to film the match at their favorite skate park or skate spot or wherever it is. It's called Battle of the Barracks, but you know what? We travel. I mean, I think that's even a more epic battle. So Johnny Geiger and Jamie Griffin are going to be playing each other now because they both live in Europe. We got to move. We got a little Tony Manguchi problem. And we got a Jun Saito problem. Jun Saito told us, although he was very flattered to be invited, he did tell us that he would be better on two wheels than four so we're going to remove joan saito and we're going to put spencer barton and tony manguchi playing each other what's great about those two guys is they live in la so it makes it a lot easier for us to put them together so we don't have to fly to europe to film them okay two of my favorite youtubers i mean they're skaters they're skaters who have youtube channels john hill and andy schrock sadly are not going to be in Battle Barracks 12. We have some pretty rad replacements in the influencer section. We have Lil Dre, who's a rapper and an amazing skater. And then we have another rapper, Cyril Palmer, C-Roy, Watch You Die. It's almost like Battle of the Rappers, which we should have. We should have Battle of the Rappers, and I should have included in this, but God damn it, this COVID has really made this hard, guys. This is not the Olympics. This is not Street League. This is not the X Games. Here was a tough one, okay? So when we're doing icons and pros, there's a big range in icons. There's some guys that are older, some guys who are younger. We didn't want to put Ishad in the icon section and him say, what are you guys talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm not that old. But then we didn't want to put him in the pro section because we're like, it's Ishad. He's an icon. But because we were running out of room, and he sort of, because he's so young still, and I don't know if you've ever seen that shot skate, like in real life, I've seen him skate for, I think, 30 minutes straight without ever falling off his board. But, so we put him in the pro section. You know what? And we all know he's an icon. So we're going to move him from the pro section to the icon section, and we're going to put Lucas Ribello in his place. Lucas, brand new pro, just made it into SLS. Qualified second in the SLS Open a couple weeks ago and just competed in his first SLS just this past week. He's going to go in the pro section. And because he's in town and Cody Cepeda is not in town, we're going to move Cody Cepeda off Gustavo Ribeiro and we're going to put Lucas and Gustavo together. They both speak Portuguese. They're both friends. And you know what? They're both in town. So unless you guys want to wait till 2023, we're going to do that match. Don't you think that's a good idea? I do. Just to clarify, the reason why I shod is moving from the pro section to the icon section is because Stevie Williams has stepped out of the icon bracket, leaving a hole open perfectly 
for my shroud to fit in. And everything worked out great. And we all lived happily ever after. All right, there's a couple more changes. And even though these are the changes we're saying now, there could be more down the line. Uh, it depends on what happens with COVID. But we're committed to getting through this together because that's what we do as pros versus Joes versus icons versus influencers community. That's what we do as a community, right? We get through this together, all right? So these two changes are Dylan Jabe. He's just not feeling good. Oh, I see him skate. He looks pretty good, but I understand he's not feeling good, especially because he's a guy who I think could take it all. And that's a lot of pressure, and he's not feeling 100%, so he's dropping out. But we're replacing him with this incredible skater, Kayansuki. Excuse my Japanese. I even asked him, like, hey, dude, how do you pronounce your name properly? He told me, and I just actually don't have it in my vocal cords to pronounce it properly. So that's how I'm going to say it. He is taking Dylan's place. And if you've ever seen him skate, he's amazing. He's from Japan. He probably has like a couple hundred thousand followers. You probably know who he is, but if he doesn't, we're going to put his uh, Instagram handle right here. Okay, if you guys didn't check out the classic game between bitch-ass Billy Marks and myself, that's right, I said it, Billy. Billy Marks is probably going to make it into the icon section. And he's not a bitch ass. Billy Mark's actually a really good friend of mine. He was in the finals of Battle Barracks 1. He's one of the greatest skaters ever. There might be one person dropping out of the icon section. I know that change is coming. I just don't know exactly what it is yet. I just want to say, you guys, stay patient with me, okay? There's only a few people working on all of this. We're not McDonald's. We don't have 10,000 employees all over the world. We're not even Starbucks. We're doing the best. Your local Starbucks with just, you know, like a few people working there. That's about what the operation is here. Okay, guys? Give us a break. I know it's popular, but don't equate popular with tons of people and a lot of wealth. Okay? We are doing the best that we can with what we have to make sure that these battles go up before 2027.